students today i will start our fourth unit that is improper integrals that means in this video we will discuss about improper integrals improper integrals improper integrals okay students just listen don't write anything okay i will give you notes okay no problem uh, here today we will discuss about improper integrals before going this topic first we will discuss about definite integral after that we will discuss about proper definite integral after that we will discuss about improper integrals okay so first let us see what is definite integral already we learned definite integral in puc puc 2 level so once again i will explain don't worry okay so now let us see what is definite integral just listen definite integral okay so for this let us consider f of x be a function f of x be a function f of x be a function which is defined and continuous and also bounded on closed interval a comma b then the definite integral from a to b is defined as integral from a to b f of x dx here a is called lower limit of integration and b is called upper limit of integration here the goal of this lesson is to extend the concept of the definite integral that means in this section we will extend the concept of definite integral that means here we defined integral from a to b f of x to dx under conditions that that f of x is defined and bounded and also closed and also continuous on closed interval a comma b here we defined integral from a to b f of x dx under conditions that f is defined continuous and bounded on closed interval a comma b okay here in this lecture we will extend to the theorem of integration to bounded functions which are defined on unbounded intervals in this lecture we will extend to the theorems of integration to bounded functions which defined on unbounded intervals also to bound to unbounded function which defined on bounded or unbounded intervals okay don't confuse so in this lecture we will extend to the theorem of integration to bounded function which defined on unbounded intervals first one and also to unbounded function which defined on bounded or unbounded intervals okay now let us see what is 
proper definite integral proper definite integral proper definite integral okay so for this let us consider f of x to be a function okay let us consider f of x to be a bounded function on closed interval a comma b okay for all x belongs to open interval a comma b okay here a and b are finite constant here a and b are finite constant then this definite integral that means integral from a to b f of x dx is called proper definite integral okay proper definite integral okay is nothing but f of x b a bounded function on closed interval a comma b and here a and b are finite constants finite constants okay f of x be a bounded function for all x belongs to open interval a comma b and a and b are finite constant then this definite integral is called as proper definite integral okay proper definite integral is nothing but just to definite integral okay no problem okay in proper definite integral f of x bounded function on closed interval a comma b and a and b are must be finite constant finite constants okay don't worry once again i will explain about proper definite integral okay so here proper definite integral should satisfy two conditions first one which is f of x should be continuous and continuous and bounded on closed interval a comma b second condition which is both a and b both a and b are finite constant finite constant that means both of limit of integrations are finite both of limit of integrations are finite if these two conditions are satisfied then we can say that that definite integral is called as proper definite integral okay if these two conditions are satisfied then we can say that the definite integral integral from a to b f of x dx is proper definite integral okay in proper definite integral f of x must be continuous and bounded on closed interval a comma b and a and b are must be finite constant finite constant okay uh, here if at least any one of the condition is not satisfied then such a definite integral is called as improper integral improper integral if any one of the condition is not satisfied then we can say that that definite integral is improper def improper definite integral or improper integral okay that means improper integral is nothing but either one or both either one or both of the limit of integration are not finite okay listen carefully okay if at least one of the condition is not satisfied then such a definite integral is called as improper integral improper integral is nothing but nothing but either one or both of limit of integration are not finite first one what is the first one what is the first one either one or both of limit of integration are not finite first one second one f of x not bounded that means f of x is unbounded at one point or more points okay improper integral is nothing but either one or both of limit of integrations are not finite second one which is f of x is unbounded at one point or more points 
that means f of x is infinite discontinuity f of x is infinite discontinuity a to a or b or at some point c which belongs to open interval a comma b okay f of x is unbounded is nothing but f of x is infinite discontinuity at some point c which lies in the open interval a comma b okay then such a definite integral is called as improper integral okay students don't confuse listen carefully proper definite integral is nothing but f of x should be continuous in bounded closed interval a comma b and a and b are must be finite constant okay if at least one of the condition is not satisfied then such a definite integral is called as improper integral improper integral is, is nothing but first one which is f of x must be unbounded second one f of x must be unbounded is nothing but f of x is discontinuity at at the point a or at the point b or at some point c which belongs to open interval a comma b so that is the first condition second condition either a or both of limit of integrations are not finite okay then such a different integral is called as improper integral improper integral is nothing but either one or both of limit of integrations are not finite or f of x is unbounded at one point or more points okay that means f of x is infinite discontinuity at a or at b or at some point c which lies in between a comma b then such definite integral is called as improper integrals okay don't confuse okay here so based on these two conditions so based on these two conditions there are two types of improper integrals first one which is improper integral of first kind second one which is improper integral of second kind okay write down definition of proper definite integral and also improper integral okay i will explain once again improper integral okay improper integral is nothing but okay either a or b or both limit of integrations are infinite or f of x is unbounded then such definite integral is called as improper integral so here f of x is unbounded is nothing but f of x is discontinuity at the at, at the point a or at the point b or at some point c which lies in open interval a comma b okay okay prof proper definite integral is nothing but f of x should be continuous and bounded on closed interval a comma b and the limit of integrations are must be finite okay don't confuse students please listen very carefully okay okay write down definitions of proper definite integral and improper integral proper definite integral in definite integral in definite integral integral from a to b f of x dx if a comma b are finite
కాన్స్టెంట్ అండ్ ఎఫ్ ఆఫ్ ఎక్స్ ఈజ్ బౌండెడ్ బౌండెడ్ ఫర్ ఆల్ ఎక్స్ బిలాంగ్స్ టు ఓపెన్ ఇంటర్వెల్ ఏ కామా బి దెన్ ద డెఫినెట్ ఇంటిగ్రల్ ఈజ్ కాల్డ్ ప్రాపర్ డెఫినెట్ ఇంటిగ్రల్ పీడిఐ ప్రాపర్ డెఫినెట్ ఇంటిగ్రల్ నెక్స్ట్ రైట్ డౌన్ డెఫినేషన్ ఆఫ్ ఇంప్రాపర్ ఇంటిగ్రల్ the integral integral from a to b f of x dx is called i i means improper integral if first one a is equal to minus infinity or b is equal to infinity or both okay so here a less than b okay a must be less than b okay remember that point that is that is one or both integration limits is infinite 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 second one f of x is unbounded unbounded yet one or more points points of a less than or equal to x less than or equal to b or a to some point c c belongs to open interval a comma b okay the integral from a to b f of x dx is called improper integral if first one a is equal to minus infinity or b is equal to infinity or both or both means a is equal to minus infinity b is equal to infinity okay don't confuse okay that means one or both integration limits is finite okay a is equal to minus infinity b is equal to infinity or both both means a is equal to minus infinity b is equal to infinity okay second one f of x is unbounded at one or more points of a less than or equal to x less than or equal to b or at some points c which lies in the open interval a comma b right on student proper definite integral improper definite integral okay write down student write down there are 
there are two types of i i improper integrals Inter improper integrals first one improper integrals of first kind first first kind second one improper integrals of second kind okay now let us discuss about improper integrals of first kind okay so first write down definition of improper integrals of first kind first kind okay a definite integral integral from a to b f of x dx is said to be improper integral of first kind if 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 a is equal to a minus infinity or b is equal to infinity or both both okay that means one or both integration 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 limits is infinite okay and f of x is bounded f of x is bounded that means okay write down first write down that means listen improper integral of first kind is nothing but integrations of bounded function integrations of bounded function with infinite limits of integration students improper integrals of first kind is nothing but integrations of bounded function with infinite limits of integration okay that means limits of integration become infinite but f of x is bounded remember that point improper integral is nothing but just limits of integrations are infinite and f of x bounded okay ah uh, listen here what actually happen is here three possibilities can occur three possibilities can occur first one first one a can be minus infinity second one b can be infinity third one both a and b that means simultaneously can occur that means a is equal to minus infinity b is equal to infinity this type of integral is called as improper integral of first kind okay so here three possibilities there first one either a is minus infinity second one b is infinity third one a is equal to minus infinity and b is equal to infinity this type of integral is called as improper integral of first kind that means improper integral can be like this either minus in integral from minus infinity to b f of x dx or integral from a to infinity f of x dx or 
integral from minus infinity to infinity f of x dx improper integral can be like this any one of the form either this form or this form or this form that means integral of the form either this form or this form or this form is called as improper integral of first kind okay clear you can observe here student here in first form a is minus infinity in second form b is infinity in third form a is minus infinity b is infinity remember that point here b always greater than minus infinity okay so here infinity always greater than infinity or a less than infinity or minus infinity less than b here minus infinity less than infinity okay so what is the condition here a must be less than b okay in closed interval a comma b a must be less than b remember that point okay that means integral of the form either this form or this form or this form is called as improper integral of first kind now let us see first form of improper integral of first kind okay what is the first form integral from minus infinity to b f of x dx integral from minus infinity to b f of x dx okay so this is the first form of improper integral of first kind this is the second form of improper integral of second kind first kind this is the third form of improper integral of first kind okay okay student first now let us see first form of improper integral of first kind what is the first form integral from minus infinity to b f of x dx okay okay uh, first write down first write down let f of x be a continuous function on open interval minus infinity comma closed interval b okay so here f of x is f of x be a continuous function on open interval minus infinity comma closed to b here then then improper integral of f of x is defined as defined as integral from minus infinity to b f of x dx is equal to limit a tends to minus infinity integral from a to b f of x dx if these limit exist or finite then we say that we say that the i i means improper integral or convergent cgt means convergent otherwise the improper integral is divergent we say that the improper integral is right is convergent otherwise improper integral is divergent okay listen very carefully students very very easy don't worry ah let f of x to be a continuous function on open interval minus infinity comma b closed interval okay 
then improper integral of f of x is defined as integral from minus infinity to b f of x to dx is equal limit a tends to minus infinity t integral from a to b f of x dx okay okay uh, here if if the limit of this integral if the limit of this integral exists or finite then we can say that the given improper integral is convergent in this case the that limit is the value of the improper integral also in this case this improper integral convergent to that limit okay clear here if the limit of this integral is ex exist or finite then we can say that this improper integral is convergent in this case that limit is the value of the this improper integral and also this improper integral convergent to that limit okay suppose if the limit of this integral does not exist or infinite that means plus infinity or minus infinity then we say that this improper integral is divergent okay that means if the limit is finite limit is finite we say that the improper integral is convergent while if the limit is infinite or does not exist then we say that improper integral is divergent okay if the given improper integral is convergent then the given improper integral is convergent to that limit okay okay now let us see how will check the convergence of improper integral of first kind or now let us see how will check the convergence of first form of improper integral of first kind okay uh, here for checking the given impro improper integral of first kind is convergent or divergent okay listen for checking the given improper integral of first kind is convergent or divergent first we have to convert the given improper integral into proper integral by using limit of integration or by using limit for checking the given improper integral of first kind convergent or divergent first we have to convert the given improper integral into proper integral by using limit so this is proper proper integral you know this is proper integral this is improper integral okay okay ah uh. Uh, listen for suppose for suppose if you have integral like this that means first form of improper integral of first kind integral from minus infinity b f of x dx okay you observe that here students okay what is lower limit minus infinity what is upper limit b so here a is nothing but minus infinity b is nothing but b okay 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 so for checking the given improper integral is convergent or divergent first we have to convert the given improper integral into proper integral by using limit so here we have to convert this integrand as okay so here actually a is minus infinity b is b okay so we take limit we take limit as a tends to minus infinity because a is minus infinity here okay so here we take limit as a approaches to minus infinity integral so here b so b to have same this minus infinity this minus infinity we can change it is it as a okay don't confuse okay uh, so first for checking the given improper integral 
कन्वर्जेंट आर सॉरी फॉर चेकिंग द गिवेन इंप्रॉपर इंटीग्रल कन्वर्जेंट आर डाइवर्जेंट फर्स्ट हैव टू कन्वर्ट द गिवेन इंप्रॉपर इंटीग्रल इंटू प्रॉपर इंटीग्रल बै यूजिंग लिमिट दर्स आल सो हियर ओके सो हियर ऐक्चुअली वी हैव फस्ट फार्म आफ इंप्रॉपर इंटीग्रल फर्स्ट कैंड ओके लाइक दिस सो फर्स्ट वी हैव टू कन्वर्ट दिस इंटीग्रेंड आईज सो हियर ऐक्चुअली हियर वी हैव ए इज माइनस इनफिटी b is b no problem okay so here we take limit highs a approaches to minus infinity integral so here b to have okay so here minus infinity we can change it as a that means here keep it finite limit as it is and convert infinite limit into finite limit by using limit therefore f of x dx okay don't confuse student okay once again i will explain don't worry okay ha uh, here suppose if you have integral like this suppose i am taking second second form of improper integral first kind what is the second form a to infinity f of x dx okay listen very carefully ah okay so for checking this improper integral convergent or divergent first we have to convert this improper integral into proper integral by using limit okay so here upper limit is infinity lower limit is a so here finite constant uh, a is finite constant b is infinite okay ah uh, so first we have to convert this improper integral into proper integral by using limit okay okay so here uh, so here we have to take limit as what is limit limit as b tends to infinity what is b here infinity so here we have to take limit as b approaches to infinity integral from a is same what is infinity here b f of x dx okay okay so for checking the given improper integral of first kind first we have to convert the given improper integral into proper integral by using limits okay so here improper integrals are expressed as improper integrals are expressed as limit of a proper integral proper integral okay Uh, so first we have to evaluate this integral from a to b after that we have to apply limit a tends to minus infinity okay uh, now let us see one example okay students any problem okay write down problem discuss the convergent or divergent of the following improper integral okay find its value if it exist okay for suppose integral from minus infinity comma 0 e power x dx okay students you can observe here the given integral is improper integral of first kind or the given integral is first form of improper integral of first kind because you can see here one of the limit is one of the limit of integration is infinite that means here lower bound is infinite upper bound is finite okay so this is the improper integral of first kind ah uh, so now we will see whether the given improper integral is convergent or divergent if you observe that here students a is minus infinity b is zero okay 
for checking the given improper integral is convergent or divergent first we have to convert the given improper integral into proper integral by using limit now the given improper integral can be written as that means integral from minus infinity comma 0 e power x dx can be written as tell me students so here upper limit is 0 lower limit is minus infinity okay so first we have to take limit a is infinity limit limit has a approaches to minus infinity and integral so here minus infinity is nothing but a b is nothing but 0 e power x dx that's all okay any doubt students uh. okay so first we have to evaluate this integral from a to 0 e power x dx after that we have to apply limit a tends to minus infinity that's all very simple uh. now which is equal limit a tends to minus infinity already we know that integration of e power x tell me integration of e power x always e power x so next we have to apply upper limit and lower limit so now which is equal limit a tends to minus infinity so here upper limit minus lower limit hello upper limit minus lower limit upper limit is nothing but e power 0 minus lower limit is nothing but e power a so now which is equal limit a tends to minus infinity e power 0 is nothing but 1 minus e power a next we have to apply limit a tends to minus infinity so here we get 1 minus e power minus infinity okay so here limit a tends to minus infinity into 1 always 1 okay uh, here 1 minus e power minus infinity always 0 ok e power infinity is infinity but e power minus infinity 0 1 minus 0 1 which is finite finite already we know that if limit of improper integral is exist then we can say that that improper integral is convergent and in this case the improper integral is convergent to that limit ok write down therefore the given improper integral is convergent and improper integral is convergent to 1 that means integral from minus infinity comma 0 e power x dx convergent to 1 ok so this is the process to find whether the given improper integral is convergent or divergent ok Thank you.